545 right now, and we all know that it has been hot, and you know, it's been in a drought, so water officials are yeah. worried about what's going to happen as we go forward. Yeah, John, so it's going to be one of those where we're looking at, well, especially out in East Bay, East Bay mud, thinking Come back. temperatures are <laughs> not... No, you, you know what? You're already here. <laughs> You're already here. <laughs> but the, the East Bay particularly is going to have a tough time of it, too, because temperatures always seem to get just baking. Right, so we're in stage one drought uh, restrictions right yeah. now for East Bay mud, and they're thinking that that could soon change. Um, so what's going to happen, I guess, go forward? <laughs> yeah. Well, we do have some chances of rain next week, but guys, yesterday, those spot fires we saw on yeah. that record-breaking day, just a reminder, yeah. you know, we may just be in the first couple days of spring, but we are looking at dry weather already. Yeah. Hopefully not an early fire season. All right, so let's take a quick look uh, out in the East Bay where East Bay Mud says that water conservation efforts there have also slacked off lately and that may make matters a whole lot worse leading into a maybe a drought two stage which could bring rate heights back right. into play too. Right. All right. Well, let's talk more about the mm. weather then. From <laughs> yeah. Well, it is going to be a day that brings us some more dry weather and some more 80s further inland. As for temperatures near the Bay Shore and the coast, well, we are going to be in for a nice cool down today. That cool marine layer is just pushed right into the bay. That's going to keep us definitely noticeably cooler than we were yesterday. Coast only in the 60s for some spots. Bay back down into the 70s. Those 80s do remain inland though. High pressure ridge in place and it is going to remain for only one more day as this cold front pushes on in tonight. That is going to drop temperatures at our warmest only into the 70s starting tomorrow. 70s from tomorrow into Friday and Saturday too. So really comfortable rest of the week. If you love the heat in your inland, enjoy it today because we're not going to be seeing as warm of temperatures for the rest of the forecast. Sunday is easily the coolest of the weekend. Cloud cover increasing even more. Highs in the 60s towards the finish of the weekend. Monday and Tuesday of next week, staying cool and with the potential of showers on both of those days. As for temperatures today, it will be a range of 70s for most of San Francisco. Till you get to the shoreline, that's where you'll find some 60s. 70s for most of our Bay Shore cities too. Burlingame, 73. Redwood City, Palo Alto at 77. South Bay temperatures in the low 80s with San Jose at 82. Temperatures for the East Bay, upper 70s to low 80s for you. We will be back to the cool mid 70s for Oakland and Berkeley after yesterday's record breakers in the mid 80s for these spots. That's a 10 degree cool down. That marine layer has an effect. Antioch, 84, our very hottest spot today, while mostly back into the 70s from Petaluma down to Mill Valley. Getting your look ahead at our next seven days, there you go. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, down into the 70s for you after today's low 80s at our very warmest. Sunday, the coolest of the week weekend cloudy and back into the 60s with chances of showers into Monday and Tuesday. Raina. John